North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis introducing a bill that would make local law enforcement officials comply with immigration officials. The Justice for Victims of Sanctuary Cities Act comes as Republican state lawmakers are trying to pass House Bill 370. We've told you about that. That would also require local law enforcement to hold prisoners subject to ICE detainers. As you may remember, Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden pulled out of the 287, uh, 287G program, which is voluntary. He did it last year. It's a partnership that has some of their deputies effectively working as ICE officers. Now, in response to Tillis's bill, Sheriff, Sheriff McFadden says, quote, the proposed legislation would strip the ability of states and local communities to establish their own public safety policies with their respective jurisdictions. All right, Senator Tillis now uh, chiming in on this. I'll start with you. Yeah, well, what the what the sheriff just said there is not true. Uh, this this allows for a private right of action, basically, so that victims can bring a lawsuit against the the jurisdiction that chooses to uh, have these sanctuary city laws in place, and and an illegal immigrant who commits a, a crime, who commits murder, who commits other violent crime, the victims would have the rights to bring a, a, a private right of action. It's not, it's not hamstringing any locality or any state. It's simply saying if you choose to implement these dangerous sanctuary city laws, if you choose not to cooperate with federal law enforcement, then the, the city or the locality will have to pay the consequences for those, uh, those injuries and for those victims. So, you know, so are we saying that, are you making the case 287G just should not be voluntary anymore? Oh, I mean, if you look at, it was designed to be voluntary exactly. originally, but I think we can all agree, I would hope, that during the time 287G was implemented in Charlotte, the Charlotte community, um, whether you liked it or not, you didn't have what ICE has to do now, which is operate and do the job that they are mandated to do in the streets rather than have a relationship in the jail. And two things are happening. One, we're instilling more fear while we're waiting for a comprehensive immigration reform to happen, which everyone agrees needs to happen at a federal level, into the com immigrant community because we're playing political games to make a point in an area that we don't have authority. And then I, I, I just, I don't understand why one, we need to try to make that political point and then two we can't have people agree that we were better off when this stuff was happening inside the jails rather than in the streets both from uh, uh, the, the feelings of the community and the violent offenders that are leading police on nine hour chases uh, that could have been detained and would have been deported and I, I agree with you that the politics of this are, are mind-numbingly frustrating because nothing, the core problem of what's going on is, isn't getting addressed. We're trying yeah. to put, put Band-Aids on everything. But in, in regard to this bill, it's at, at the end of the day, it is when the state government tried it, and I voted on it in the state government, it's still, it's coming back to the House at some point, probably in the next few weeks before, we can, before it goes back to the governor to veto. But um, it's, it's to the point where we, we have these situations where the state government and the federal government are trying to tell our locally, popularly elected officials what to do. Sheriff McFadden ran on this issue. He ran this issue, won the Democrat primary in a landslide, was not even challenged in the general election. And then we're seeding, and then we have people saying that, oh, we got to cede the control to the state and federal governments. Like, that's that's not right. It's not constitutional either. Like, you cannot force them to do it. And I know say, Tillis's how bill would you doesn't two feel do that. If the, if the Obama administration was trying to tell our local sheriff what to do or, or, or trying to tell local police departments what to do? Well, I, th I think it's a, a mischaracterization to say that it mandates it. What it does, as I said at the start of this, what Senator Tillis sure. and others' bill does is allows a private right of action if the localities and the states don't comply with with these but laws. But even beyond that, that why in the world wouldn't you want to work and partner between different agencies that are just here trying to protect some us all? Some partnership, some partnership. All right, more Flashpoint after this.